Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah. Recently, I had to tell my husband that he was not the father of our child. The worst part is, it was true. I did have an affair with somebody else, but it's not that simple. I was 19 years old and grew up in a single parent family. My father left us when I was very young, so my mom raised me alone, and she didn't have time to start a new relationship. Even when she had boyfriends, their relationship would end when he found out that my mom had a kid. So all this time, she's been very lonely. It must have affected her a lot because after I turned 18, she kept trying to set me up with her friend's son, Mark. She was really obsessed with this idea. Sometimes my mother and I just walked in the park and accidentally met them. And usually, after about 10 minutes of conversation, our parents would hint for us to go for a walk by ourselves. Or rather, they didn't hint, but actually said it pretty clearly. Oh, it was so annoying. Mark had had a crush on me since we were teenagers. But I didn't like Mark, and I didn't want to date him. The thing is, I already had a boyfriend. I just didn't tell my mom about him. His name was Victor, and he was the love of my life. And there was an important detail that I have to tell you. He was 27 years old. This may seem strange, but don't judge us. We had a good time together, precisely because he was an adult and a mature guy. Unlike my peers, Victor was smart, calm, and made a good living for himself. Obviously, it was better to date a guy like that than 18-year-old boys who looked more like rabbits than men. They thoughtlessly ran about with crazy eyes and didn't know what they wanted. But I'm sure you heard me say that earlier. My mother didn't know that I was dating Victor. The thing is, she banned me from seeing him. A year ago, our relationship was just beginning. And a couple of months later, I wanted to introduce him to my mother. Victor came to our house for dinner, and as soon as my mother saw him, she almost fainted. For her, the relationship between an 18-year-old girl and a 27-year-old man was something that was unthinkable. Mom started screaming and swearing and just kicked him out of the house. But despite my mother's orders, I continued to date him. Only now, we kept our relationship a secret. I told my mother I started dancing, and I went to dance school four times a week. Just so you understand, I was going out with my boyfriend this whole time. But the rest of the time, my mother kept bothering me with this Mark guy. At one point, I realized that she would not leave me alone until I agreed to go on a date with him. I decided that Mark would be a great disguise for my relationship with Victor. So the next time he visited us, I took the first step myself and asked him out. Oh, my mother was over the moon. Her cherished dream had finally come true, but my life remained the same. I told my mom that I was going on a date with Mark, and then I told Mark that I was going to a dance class. It was perfect. This went on for about two months, but then something happened that changed my life forever. I got pregnant. It wasn't bad news for me. I didn't have anything with Mark, and I knew for sure that the baby was Victor's. So as soon as I saw the two stripes on the pregnancy test, I rushed to Victor to tell him the good news. But his reaction put me in a stupor. He got scared and started talking some nonsense about how he wasn't ready to have a baby and stuff. I thought he was just in shock and that he just needed a little time to accept it. But the next day, it got even worse. He tried to persuade me to get rid of the baby. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect this from a grown man. Was Victor really that kind of person? It seems like it. I wasn't going to get rid of the baby. I couldn't even think about that. So my relationship with him was over. But my problem still stayed with me. I was thinking about how I could tell my mom that I was having a baby. And I didn't know how to do it. In my head, she would just destroy me for lying to her for so long. So I needed a plan. And he appeared all by himself. Mark wrote to me and asked if I wanted to meet him. Hell yes! We picked a time in a restaurant, and as soon as I got there, I started telling him that I loved him and that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. He was stunned by this information. Then I suggested we get married right away. 
You should have seen his face. It was a mixture of surprise, confusion, and happiness. But he agreed. That same day, we told our parents everything. And a couple of days later, we were officially husband and wife. It was quick and unexpected. But Mark was happy to finally have the girl he had loved since childhood. And my mom was happy that I married a good guy. Then I waited for about a week and a half and told my husband that I was pregnant. This was hard news for him, but unlike Victor, he didn't look for an escape plan. I have to say, Mark showed himself to be a perfect man during the time I was carrying the baby. He was sweet, patient, and caring, and it was a little embarrassing because when I was planning my deception, Mark was the annoying neighbor kid, but now I saw his true identity, and my conscience began to gnaw at me for using him. I didn't expect Mark to be able to arouse any feelings in me, but I saw how he tried to take care of my child, how tired he was, and how little sleep he had, and I understood that he was an amazing man, and that he shouldn't have to raise someone else's child. So... I decided to pay Victor a visit and get him to start taking care of the baby. But during this year that we hadn't seen each other, his life had changed a lot. And I saw it as soon as the door of his house opened in front of me. But the person who opened it was not Victor. It was some 18-year-old girl. When I said that I needed Victor, she screamed, Honey, someone is here to see you. Honey. A year ago, he swore eternal love to me, and now he was living with this silly girl? I literally went crazy at that moment. I broke into his house, started screaming, and just smashed everything I could get my hands on. It was his repayment for leaving me alone with the baby. Then I turned around and left. It was a good punishment for him. But Victor didn't think so. That evening, he called me and started yelling at me. He was really angry, and he blamed me for ruining his relationship. And then Victor started to blackmail me. He demanded that I reimburse him for all the money he had spent on planning a trip with his girlfriend since they had broken up because of me. Otherwise, he promised to tell my secret to my husband. I had two days to make a decision, and during both of these days, a war was literally going on in my head. The army of light told me that I had to confess everything and to accept my punishment. And the army of darkness was trying to persuade me to somehow find the money and hide my deception. Unfortunately, the dark forces had better arguments. After all, if Mark leaves, I'll have to raise the baby alone, just like my mom. So I came up with a plan. And to do that, I had to lie to my husband again for the last time i told him that i needed money for a training course for young mothers and as soon as mark realized that the money was needed for our child his eyes lit up with kindness and he ran to get his credit card but i couldn't accept the money mark was too kind to me he was willing to give everything up for a child that wasn't even his and i was just using him suddenly There were tears in my eyes, and I just fell to my knees and begged for forgiveness. Mark was dumbfounded and did not understand what was happening. Then I told him everything, absolutely everything. I didn't expect him to understand or even forgive me. I just felt sorry for what I had done. That next second, he turned and walked away. Then I heard the car pull away from our house. Mark was absent until that night. All this time, I just stood by the crib and cried, imagining Mark kicking me out of the house, then my mom cursing me for my lies, and finding myself on the street, alone with a baby. It was just awful. But then I heard a car honk outside. It was my husband. When I ran out of the house, I saw Mark and Victor outside. My ex looked like he'd been in a fight, and he had a very guilty face. He apologized and promised to help me with the upbringing of our child. Then, 
Mark let him go, and he hurried away. But this was not the end. Mark pointed to the car and told me to get in. I went in and got the baby, and I knew where we were going, so I wasn't surprised when the car stopped at my mother's house. Yeah, I had to tell her everything. I think I'll skip this part of the story. It's still hard for me to remember. What about Mark and I? Of course, he was very upset when he found out the truth, but he wasn't going to give up on me. During the time he had spent with the baby, he had already fallen in love with him, and he didn't want to part with him. He considered him his son. As for me, I was sorry that I had done so many bad things to such a good man, and I hope that Mark can forgive me. I want to start all over again. Only now, there will be no lies in my life. Because I want to build our relationship based on love and trust.